Hello, Jairus Reiniger here, showing you how to tie a fishing line. Alright, well first things first, simple how to tie a fishing line. Some people may not know how to do it. All you do is put it through this loop right here. You kind of want a little bit of twist and power right here. But you just, I always do it maybe 12 times. Thicker line, this is a 20 pound test made by Berkeley called Vanish. This is the leader line that I'm using today, 20 pound. And I do a few twists, maybe, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do about 10, maybe 12. I notice more loops that you do across it definitely keeps it from breaking and then what I do is next is there's a little loop right here at the bottom and all you do is put that tip underneath and you hold that tip you don't want to pull just yet normally a lot of people do that but this is a grandfather trick that I learned and go ahead through that existing loop that you just kind of created go ahead and go back in between and then you hold it and go ahead and pull and then you'll go ahead and pull all the way down until it makes sense next what you're gonna go ahead and do is cut that existing line right here just because I guess if there's a fish anywhere towards it, it's not gonna spook it. The less noticed line is the, the best. Kinda cut it that short. See how this other one is cut pretty short. What I have here is a leader line. What this does is it goes all the way down the fishing pole. What this is is a connector and it connects my main line which is to my fishing pole right here and this is my slip weight and it's not connected to anything so whenever I throw it just throws out and it goes as far as it wants to this is my leader line I'm using braid I'm not too sure how many pounds this is to my 20 pound leader and all I have is just a treble hook and I did that same type of knot that knot allows it to be super strong. I've tied it just regular without that second loop, and it is busted many, many times. But let's go ahead and test this thing and see how strong it is. Connecting my hook to the bottom of my car, so that way I can pull it. You know, if you're fighting a big fish, you definitely want it to be able to withstand some force. But all I do is just pull back on it. You want to make sure that your drag is set a little loose, not so tight, because you could lose a fish and you could break your pole if it's so tight on there, but you want to do it just loose enough to where it kind of slips before you pull back. And that's on there pretty good, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, I think it's good. You're definitely ready to go catch some, you know, whatever it is you're catching. Hopefully fish and not anything else. Anyways, thank you. God bless. <laughs>